Hey guys, welcome to another big week of astrology. We've got a lot going on this week. We start the week with some big energetic activations happening. We have the sun coming into an exact trine with Pluto today. We also have Venus coming into an exact trine with Uranus. We are also in black moon energy today. The black moon and the moon sort of acting as a midpoint between the trine going on between Venus and Uranus. We are digging deep down into the shadows today, you guys, and we are figuring out what we need to release ourselves from, what transformations we need to make deep within ourselves, deep within our psyche at this point in time to really release ourselves from that which is not filling us up on a very heart and soul based level. This past week that we are exiting out of right now, there has been an energetic window, you guys, that has been open, that has been really pushing us towards some self-discovery, culminating in some major transformation. Today, we are at the day where the major transformation is really sparking up, okay? Tomorrow, we're also going to have a lot of this transformation energy going on. We're moving into a busy week of astrology. We have a new moon in Libra going on this week. We have Mercury and the sun changing signs. There's some energetic shifts going on as well. A lot's wrapped up in the energy ongoing this week. Lots wrapped up in the energy today to start our week. Let's jump into the report, you guys, and see how all of this is coming together for us. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today is Monday, September 19th, 2022. My name is Aubrey, and this is your astrological outlook of the day. If you guys stick with me till the very end of the report, we were also so be talking about some tarot cards that came out in correspondence with our astrology today so that we can tap the field from more than one modality and just get a check on what is going on from a couple different perspectives. So we're looking at the stars and we're looking at the cards, but we are starting with the stars. If you guys have been following along, got something stuck to my lip. If you guys have been following along with um, my work over the course of this past couple days, you know, I've been talking about this energetic window that I felt was opening between the 14th and the 19th. That was really comprised of these four major transits that we had going on venus square mars sun opposite neptune um mercury opposite jupiter and sun trine pluto with venus trine uh uranus in there as well and today we are at the 19th we are on day six of these activations and you know what they were boiling down to i was feeling like was a period of time pretty much speaking of some pretty in-depth self-discovery that would be culminating in some type of profound transformation and release from that which is no longer serving us or filling us up on like a soul based level. I feel like this period of time was really trying to show us where our own ego has been getting in the way of us being able to open to receive and align our lives with that which really like fills our cup on that deep level that which we really truly want that's what is in alignment with like the truth of our heart, you know, a lot of times when we are sort of detached from our own authenticity and we're sort of immersed in the world of, you know, the cultural expectations and like societal norms and all of that, it's really easy to sort of disregard our own personal preferences and truth and desires and stuff to like fit the molds that are socially acceptable and stuff like that. And in the past, that all has worked out, you know, really well for a lot of people in a lot of situations. But moving into this new energy in the age of Aquarius, Everything is really like the whole galactic push right now is to getting back to like our original truth, to our original self, our original purpose, because this is energy that is trying to activate destiny, help us rise into our greatest potential so that we can really like do and fulfill the mission sort of that we all came here for. Like there's no more and this energy like universe wants us to maximize like our gifts and our talents and our abilities and like really follow our passions and make the most out of this experience we're not being called to be sort of like passive consumers or like just like galactic passer buyers in this life just sort of observing that which is around us and sort of molding ourselves into what is expected of us like no in this energy we're really meant to sort of get in alignment and activate the like i said before like the mission that we came here for because right now we all have a pretty big mission and that is transitioning us collectively into the age of aquarius which is an age based on authenticity and it's the age of self-awareness and um the age of like information and knowledge and self-mastery and self-understanding and co-creation with god and universe and 
if we are not in a place where we are recognizing our own personal authentic truth and like are looking and realizing like our gifts and our talents and our capabilities and the resources that we hold within us and doing what we can to really activate those and bring them online, then there is like a piece of the overall puzzle at this point in time that is like not on the board. You know what I mean? And so we're essentially like all being called to like light up our little like light bright piece, you know, that game like way back in the day. I think they've actually made a new version of it. But um, and I've been having it so funny, like this Mercury retrograde energy or all this retrograde energy going on. Like, I swear it's been giving me these examples in my head that are like such throwbacks from like like the 90s and stuff like that, like all of these like things that I've been getting to like talk about and use as examples. I feel like they're so dated, but the, the and it's just funny because like the retrograde energy, but yeah, it's like the light bright, you know what I mean? Like that, it's like that blackboard and you put all the uh, colored pegs in there and each one of them has to be like a specific color in order to make the whole picture make sense. It's like, I feel like that's sort of like what we're doing right now. Like universe is trying to get like our, get us to like adjust our color and our like position so that we're in the exact right place, like doing the exact right thing, like discharging the exact right like frequency in order so that this whole picture can come together and like sort of illuminate this entire conscious awareness that really changes is our overall perception of reality as we were moving into the age of Aquarius. But anyways, this is turning into an awfully long uh, little spiel on the age of Aquarius, which was not my intention in starting this video, but I find myself in this place a lot. And here we are. And anyway, so let's bring this back to what's going on today and this six day window that we are in that was really bringing us through this process, I feel like of some perhaps more intense experiences that were maybe showing us where we are out of alignment internally within our own selves or again like where the ego the balance between like our ego and our higher selves may be um, causing some problems for us in our experience at this point in time whereas like this energy is pushing us to discover you know from a higher perspective and to come back in alignment with our higher selves so that we can activate this destiny and rise into our potential but we still have these like this ego going on this like lower um base programming and stuff like that that may be you know in a totally different place and position with totally different priorities and needs and desires than what our higher self is coming to realize right now as well and you know if we've been operating out of our more like egoic instincts and stuff for a long period of time we may have created a life situation around ourselves that is like based on that which may be very far out of alignment from like the truth of what our heart and soul really need in order to thrive and to come into this process of self-actualization that's what this really is you know there is a word for it like we're all being actualized by universe right now like this self-actualization process like coming into our fullest like capacity you know and like Ma maslow's hierarchy of needs and stuff like that like we are being the universe is trying to take us out of situations where we are stuck in the lower like levels of that triangle so that we can come to the place where we are able to really begin thriving in our reality based on like the um illumination i guess you could say of our potential like that's what this is anyways the energy that we've had going on over the course of this past six day period these four major aspects helping us to come to this place where we are realizing perhaps where we are holding ourselves back or where the life that we've created for us is interfering with our ability to truly receive what's in alignment with our heart and soul and that higher trajectory that higher path right at this period of time and today we have reached day 19 uh, of September we have reached the sixth day of this process and we are in this transformational and releasing energy today we've got a couple of big things that are playing out we have the sun coming into an exact trine with Pluto Pluto is purge Pluto is regeneration Pluto is transformation Pluto is also the underworld and the darkness the sun is the light the trine aspect these are facilitating aspects when we have trines playing out these this is universe facilitating things and helping things to fall Fall into place it's an, a, a process that is assisting us in making something happen this is also happening in the earth signs which is telling us like this is grounded in physical tangible reality this is something that is taking place in a way that will have some type of grounded effect in our reality like this is actually happening like within our body like in a way that can have a physical demonstrative effect demonstrative dimension I'm having a very difficult time talking in this retrograde energy, you guys, so I'm doing my best, okay? But anyways, we have this 
transformational energy going on today. So the sun coming into the trine with Pluto, this is universe facilitating us for one, really shining some light into the darkness and like clearing out some things that may have been really shrouded and really like things that we haven't looked at or we haven't seen before to end this window of self discovery. It's like we're really getting a glimpse into what's been going on and like the more deeper, darker areas maybe of our psyche that have been holding us back. And it's also representing this purge, this release, this regenerative energy. The moon in Cancer is also going to be forming a trine to the south node today while in conjunction to the black moon. This is also us releasing some karmic attachments or some subconscious programming that has been keeping us attached on a karmic level to these cyclical self-sabotaging patterns of behavior. Today is a day all about purge and release based on some type of an illumination coming through. To start the day, we also have Mercury still in an exact opposition to Jupiter, both retrograde, gaining this higher perspective of the truth of what is going on within, again, like the like our own mind, our own thought process is really like some type of reevaluation or reconsidering or rediscovering our own personal truth with Jupiter in the sign of Aries and like what that means for us coming to understand ourselves on a much deeper and more thorough and profound level. And then, of course, Venus also today coming into the trine with Uranus. Venus rules our heart, is the, you know, ruler of the sign of Libra, where Mercury is right now as well, in the opposition to Jupiter. Whatever clarity we're gaining or whatever truths we're coming to, it's, it has to do with the nature of our heart and what we truly need in order to feel like free to really be ourselves and to attract and to live our life in a way that is representing like the things that fill us up on our heart and soul's level that allow us to feel completely like free and unencumbered to experience like the joy and pleasure of our heart and and the trying to uranus this is the great rectifier this is the great liberator this is the great awakener this uranus puts things right but also brings like massive levels of awakening and conscious awareness and the trying again another facilitating aspect the universe is facilitating two energetic dynamics for us today on one hand shining the light into the darkness in order to ignite this like purge and this regeneration and this transformation on these deep levels within our psyche actually three three trines because the moon is also in trying to the south node and it's facilitating this release of these karmic attachments that have been keeping us out of the truth of our own power or attached to things that have essentially been toxic to our growth with the south node in scorpio and the north node in taurus right now and simultaneously venus in the trine to uranus so that we can free our heart to come back into alignment with the authentic truth and that which really makes us feel alive on actually a heart-based level. All of these things playing out today as the culmination of this period of time over this past six days that we have been going through that has been trying to help us make these deep discoveries about ourselves and then ultimately change. This week that we have coming up right now, it's not, you know, the six day window I'm saying is closing, but there is some serious like aftermath from that that is coming this week that is being represented in the aspects represented in the transits. And this week is really priming us for some major changes that are about to happen and today is really all about also you know seeing the truth and getting to the bottom of things and like I was saying releasing ourselves from what is no longer interesting to us what is no longer stimulating to us aka like what we are no longer desiring secrets revealed darkness transmuted into light as well very very strong themes of this day and this week and to start this week, like I said, we are ending the series of big activations with a day of some more big activations that have been happening with the Sun, Pluto, the Moon, South Node, Venus, Uranus, and the Black Moon in there as well. So week of secrets revealed. Last week, we were learning a lot of some, you know, maybe deeper painful truths about ourselves or our circumstances in life. And now we are finding out some things that really change it for us. And are pushing us to a place where we are sort of prepared to act. We have our new moon in Libra coming up this week, you guys, on the 25th. This is a cardinal cycle. I've been talking a lot about the new moon in Libra coming up in the context of, you know, this being the period of time where we were probably going to start taking some action based on sort of the epiphanies or the revelations that presented themselves to us throughout this Virgo cycle and the duration, the majority of the month of September. But we are Approaching that as well. Even though we have our new moon coming up this week, you guys, though, we also want to remember that Mercury is still retrograde. And so I personally am recommending that we wait until around 
October 2nd or so to really like begin to take some of these actions and make some of these decisions when Mercury goes direct. But the energy is definitely shifting this week, you guys. Major energetic shifts going on this week. Moon or the Mercury and the Sun will both be changing signs. Sun's going to be moving into Libra, of course, for our new moon in Libra. Mercury is going to be retrograding back to Virgo. So um Again, like we're going to be grounding into reality some of these conclusions that we may have come to about what it is that we really want moving forward. And we're also going to be having our second Sun Mercury Kazemi coming up on which day is it? I have it written down on the 22nd, actually. And so aside from today, today tomorrow on the 20th and then on the 22nd the, these are three days where we are likely to be really gaining some insight or some information into something that really helps us to like change our mind transforms our mind and really like a very tangible way um today like i said we are starting this and we are very much in this with the sun and trying to pluto tomorrow we're going to have the sun still in trying to pluto although it will no longer be exact but the moon is also going to be forming an opposition to pluto so tomorrow we're going to have both of our luminaries in a pretty direct aspect simultaneously with pluto so this is even more of this like transformative energy that begins today because tomorrow it's hitting us on a like an emotional level as well today it's you know we are getting it and we are seeing it and we are beginning to embody it but tomorrow it's the spirit and the soul going through this release and this transformation and purge regeneration associated with the pluto archetype and the pluto energy um but then on the 22nd we will also have mercury retrograde and the sun come into their exact kazemi exact to the minute alignment conjunction as well which is said you know especially during mercury retrograde when we have a window period of gaining some tremendous insight as well so that is also coming this whole week you guys and then with the new moon our new moon y'all is in an opposition to jupiter like almost exactly one degree off i believe so that again is more it's like this mercury jupiter energy that we've been dealing with and it's the sun and the moon like we are going to be gaining jupiter is truth in the sign of aries this is personal truth and jupiter retrograde as well this is an internalized recognition and a new cycle that is beginning that is really um like embedded with this expansive understanding of our personal truth so the, the, all types of just like bigger picture revelation seeing the truth seeing the wisdom like getting it from a higher level coming with the energy that's coming this week and it's starting with us like really shining some light into the darkness with the sun in the trine to pluto we are transmuting this week you guys a lot of our lower vibrational frequencies and attachments releasing karmic attachments on a subconscious level we are like if this is happening it's not even happening on a conscious level with all this pluto energy and the black moon as well like this is like on a frequency vibration, unconscious, subconscious level, us like really releasing ourselves or coming to a point where we are releasing ourselves from things that have been holding us back or keeping it, us in a place of like perpetually surrendering our power or um, sacrificing our truth for one reason or another. And again, there's a lot of karmic generational type stuff tied up in what we are being released from at this period of time as well. It's a very period, powerful period of time, you guys. I feel like you know, from right around, I was talking about right around that midpoint of September, probably actually carrying us through like the first or the second week of October. So this is a very, very powerful time of this year where a lot is happening to change us in some really significant ways that's going to be having a major impact on actually like the trajectory of our path going forward. Like we are in a time like this, the energy that has been represented throughout the course of this 2022 year is really being activated uh, at this period of time and moving into this Libra cycle. And it's really like people are likely going to be acting and behaving and conducting themselves and stuff like radically differently moving throughout the next couple of weeks and you may find yourself feeling like an entirely different person over this next couple of weeks so don't be surprised if you know people that you've known for like years and years and years all of a sudden it's like you don't even recognize them anymore coming up here because that is the type of like change that is underway 
and this energy we are transmuting these energies seeing into like our own darkness and transmuting transforming purging alchemizing and overcoming our own shadows as well with the black moon energy sign will be simultaneously being impacted for all of this the black moon you guys rules our shadow side and it has a lot to do with our subconscious programming and um places where we feel like insecure and it brings up our worries and our fears and our doubts and like sense of uh lack and not being good enough and in the sign of cancer it has a lot to do with home and family and security and acceptance and community and like our place in the home and our place in the group and stuff like that and our ability to be successful in the world as well with the black and whenever the moon comes into the sign where the black moon is or the sign opposing the black moon this triggers and kicks up these black moon feelings these these uh black moon issues and so these are the things that we are gaining this awareness of as these other transits are hitting simultaneously and it's very important because the black moon our shadow side actually holds so much power over our life and over our experience it's like because what we don't see we we have no ability to control really and if we don't know what's going on we um are sort of at the whim of whatever our subconscious is creating for us as a result of programming that we have acquired over the years since childhood it's just the way the subconscious mind works this is a very very good period of time to do some research into the subconscious mind as well with the sun in the trine to pluto if you guys are not familiar with the power of our subconscious mind i would recommend looking into that during this period of time because you may gain some profound insight through simply doing that type of research that also really shifts things for us because this is really when we can gain an awareness of what's going on in our subconscious mind and the patterns and the programs that our subconscious mind is carrying out behind the scenes of of our existence that are attracting and magnetizing situations into our life separate from like our own conscious awareness and what we consciously desire when we can understand that and shed light of awareness onto that and see our own patterns this is how we really break them and reprogram our own personal algorithms in a way where we can co-create our experiences with god and universe instead of just sort of walking around like these little wind-up dolls that are being um you know where our experiences are really a reflection of the programming that we have all already established within our subconscious mind that we are unaware that is even like operating under the surface of things it's our um it's just like our algorithm like it's our code that we're not aware of and we can reprogram our own code but in order to do that we have to be able to understand our own patterns and see our own programming and i feel like we have a period of time this is also you know a very good period of time to really get an understanding of that like that is where we might be cracking through into awareness as well that is changing things for us just simply gaining an understanding of our own self-sabotaging patterns perhaps as a result of these shadow side issues or unresolved traumas or um, black moon issues or just like some deep internalized healing that needs to go on that is really how we resolve these issues but anyways back to the sun and trying to Pluto today and what we have going on this could also manifest is like literally cleaning things up like literally cleaning up the closet cleaning up the garage like going into places where the light doesn't shine much where there's a lot of like stagnant energy and just getting in there and like cleaning it up this can also be actually very productive on an energetic level in terms of doing the same thing within our own psyche like going in and like doing sort of like a dirty job or cleaning things or rearranging things or breaking up stagnant energy like in a room of our house actually is a very good utilization of this energy as well because like I said like it can have that same mirrored subtle and energetic effect on our psyche when we clean out the closet physically uh it can help to like um break up stagnancy and sort of clean up the clutter internally within our psyche on an energetic level as well so this is whenever we have the sun making an aspect to pluto it's also a really good time to sort of get into some of the darker areas that we don't like to go into a lot of times and sort of like shed the light on it bring some fresh air rearrange things clear it up clean it up like move things around Another way that we could be using this energy is like literally going in there and cleaning out the closet, but getting to the root of our own issues and shining light into the darkness, into the darkest recesses of our psyche and facilitating this karmic release. The moon conjuncting the black moon simultaneously in the trine to the south node in Scorpio, the south node, this is the past, this is karma. This is what we need to release ourselves from. 
Scorpio and the black moon having a lot in common. This is, again, like these subconscious patterns that steal our power of conscious creation with God and universe. We are releasing ourselves from our fears and our insecurities and our worries and our doubts and their control and their hold over us, which prevents us from being able to go towards the North Node in Taurus, this path where we are cultivating those resources within us and tapping into our authentic potential and activating our destiny. Everything that universe is calling us towards right now as we are transitioning ages into the age of Aquarius and lighting our, you know, our own little spark, igniting this flame within us so that we can do our part in the process of universe's expansion into the age of Aquarius right now. This is all about really coming back home to ourselves and freeing ourselves from anything that is that we have essentially created at this point in time that is standing in the way of that process. And then also with Venus in the trying to Uranus today, desiring to release subconscious fears, black moon and moon as the midpoint as well, that block our like heart center energy and our ability to truly receive and to feel like we are in alignment with that which we truly want, that which we truly desire. Venus, and we're moving towards the Libra cycle, which is also ruled by Venus, which is about rebalancing things re-establishing justice, re-establishing peace, re-establishing harmony, comfort, beauty, pleasure, like art, music, creativity, but most importantly, helping us to align with that which we really desire in terms of relationships, the main theme of Venus, the seventh house, Libra, the seventh sign of the zodiac. So we are in relationship redo central right now, but it's based on this recognition of the truth in some type of really big way, either about ourselves personally and what we want going forward or in terms of these revelations about how our life is no longer a fit for what we want going forward and who we are rediscovering that we are so all this going on we were really in the thick of it over this past few days and moving into this week we are also this is going to be taking it like a even stronger and stronger hold over us also, we do still have, like I said, Mercury in an opposition exact to the degree, opposition to Jupiter today to start our day, both retrograde. So this could be another huge day for news, information, understanding things that show us the truth about something. Venus or Mercury opposite Jupiter, this is a, a big truth about something. And with both of these retrograde, also the sun in the trine to Pluto, this is definitely secrets revealed. This could also have to do with like financial circumstances, financial markets, economies, like on the more macrocosm level, there could definitely be some stuff about like financial corruption and stuff that's coming out. Like this is also energy where like dark secrets of corruption and things that have been going on behind the scenes that have been stealing the power of or the resources of other people in some type of way are likely to be exposed. This is shady business that's been going on. This is corruption exposed on like a grand, more macrocosm level preparing i feel for some type of shifts and transitions of power going on as well we're also talking about pluto in the last degrees of capricorn right now the sun this pluto in the last degrees of capricorn to me this is talking about government corruption like long-standing government corruption and like the evils that have gone on within leadership and places people of power and the breakdown in this right now the breakdown in these hierarchies of power and these establishments and these like priesthood classes and these long-standing orders of power and control that have been very dominant and you know really just like ruling and controlling and structuring the state of the world for a very long period of time i feel like this is talking about the breakdown and when we have the sun coming into the trine with pluto at this degree i feel like this is humanity like the collective as well and also with the moon in opposition tomorrow really gaining a uh, um, understanding or light being shed into sort of these more dark recesses of power and abuses of power that have been going on behind the scenes of things. So I do feel like on like a more macrocosm geopolitical level, we're also going to be getting some really uh, could be like shocking or just like big news that might come out over the course of this week in regard again to resources, supply chains, economies, finances, markets, partnerships, relationships, and also just government corruption, elite level corruption that's been going on behind the scenes. And it could also have people like very polarized in this energy right now because of the Mars and Gemini theme that we have playing out 
um, and the aspects that Mars has been making as well. But ultimately, you guys, like this is the energy that is showing us the problem problems that we maybe didn't even know that were there so that we can like really like solve them instead of just trying to put frivolous band-aids over solutions that are actually or over symptoms that are actually just perpetuating problems this is us like really truly gaining a greater understanding of the real root of problems so that we can fix them and alleviate them so actually you know despite the more difficult nature or the more ugly nature of what might be being exposed to us either you know in a personal level within our own life within our own relationships or within our own self or on a more macrocosm geopolitical level over this you know the remainder of this month moving into the month of october ultimately it is very necessary and we are like cleaning out the closet like i said like we are cleaning things up, cleaning things out, finding the root of the problem, like figuring out what has been like rotten, you know what I mean, to the core so that we can make everything grow in a better, more organic, productive, fruitful way going forward very significant and important period of time even though it may be disturbing it may be uncomfortable it may be uh very unpredictable and it may have us just feeling very shook in a lot of ways but you know we have to this is a period of time also where we really need to be able to trust and rely on ourselves. And that may be some of the very fears that are being sparked in this energy with the black moon and cancer being so activated, but we really need to trust in our higher selves and our ability to handle what we have going on. And we also need to realize that we may not be able to rely on other people at this period of time for advice, for assistance, for help, for support. Like there is energetic like cues I feel like that are coming through that are sort of letting me know that this is a very um self-directed self-reliant self-motivated period of time that we are going in through right now and universe is really basically like trying to show us what we've got within us and help us understand that we are much more like self-reliant that we may have given ourselves credit for in the past. And that is really what we need to sort of look to at this period of time as things may be quite unstable in whatever's going on with other people and situations. And even the things that, you know, we may have looked to in the past to sort of provide some stability or security for us, like it really, I feel like, is coming down to a need to find that within ourselves and to also be very open to opportunities that present themselves to us during this period of time over these next few days. But Uranus is putting things right. I mean, Venus in the trine to Uranus today, while this energy unfolds, Uranus is the great rectifier. Uranus puts things right. So whatever is breaking down in relationships or, you know, whatever we're finding out, it is for the purpose of putting things back on track in a way that is actually going to be much more conducive to our growth and like true fulfillment and satisfaction going forward, even if it feels not that way at all in this moment at this period of time. Okay, so that is basically what I have to say for the astrology that we have going on today. Let's talk about the Sabian symbols for just a second. And I'm going to give you guys like a brief rundown of what we have coming on this up this week as well before I start talking about the tarot message that came out. Today we have the sun at 27 degrees of Virgo. That Sabian symbol is aristocratic elderly ladies drinking afternoon tea in a wealthy home. This Sabian symbol always makes me giggle a little bit, just like the way that it presents itself in my mind. But um, I feel like also with the sun in the trine to Pluto today, 27 degrees of Capricorn, a mountain pilgrimage. I do feel like this dynamic of energy is telling us like, where are we operating out of, you know, sort of like facades? Like where are we putting out some type of presentation or where are we attached to some type of presentation or some type of image that is actually like detached from our spiritual truth and this more um, elevated viewpoint and understanding and conscious awareness that we we are going on right now. Pluto, this transformational energy is talking about a mountain pilgrimage. You know, this could be like a spiritual journey to gain a conscious awareness. Like that is the transformational process that universe is calling for. But the sun at aristocratic elderly ladies drinking tea in, an in a wealthy home, like there's probably a lot of like, um, 
just like images that are being adhered to in the nature of this symbolism. So I feel like, again, this is sort of bringing up the dynamic of where is the presentation that we like to like attach ourselves to in the world, the identity that we've created for ourselves with the trying going on, like how can we transform that into this new more consciously aware and spiritualized identity of ourselves that is being indicated by just the energetic nature of the transformation that we are on right now. Like how can we upgrade our previous persona in alignment with these higher truths about ourselves that we are coming to at this point in time? I feel like this is sort of the transformation that universe is facilitating for us today. We also have Mercury in the exact opposition to Jupiter at five degrees of Libra today, Jupiter at five degrees of Aries, five degrees of Libra where Mercury is that Sabian symbol is a man teaching the true inner knowledge of the new world to his students, Jupiter five Aries, a triangle with wings. And then also I need to say the position of Uranus today, 19 degrees of Taurus, a new continent is rising from the ocean in the exact trine to Venus today at 19 Virgo, a swimming race. I feel like these symbols are all playing into each other so well. Mercury in the opposition to Jupiter, you guys, this is the expanded awareness that we're getting five degrees of Libra, a man teaching the true inner knowledge of the new world to his students, the triangle with wings, the position of Jupiter, some type of an expanded awareness that we are gaining about this new world, this new identity, this new version of ourselves is being birthed within us, facilitated in the energy right now, the triangle with wings and directly related to our energetic shift into the age of Aquarius. Uranus, a new continent is rising from the ocean. We are gaining the inner knowledge, the inner knowledge, all this retrograde energy, this internalized process about this new world that is emerging from the ocean, from the sea in Venus at a swimming race. And we're like racing to get there, you guys. We're like racing to swim to this new world that we are gaining this new inner knowledge about, a triangle with wings and this facilitated way through these aspects and all these trines. We have three trines playing out today, you guys. Trines are three, well, grand trines are signs that try on each other. There are three signs that try on each other. And the number three is very associated. It's the triangle. It's the trine. We have three of them going on today. And this sequence of Sabian symbols, like teaching the true inner knowledge of the new world while the new continent is rising from the ocean. The triangle with wings is facilitating our expanded understanding of what is required in this new world. And we're like rapidly swimming there, the swimming race to the new continent through the ocean. I just like think it's really um, interesting how they're all playing off of each other today, all in like exact aspect with each other, really pointing to this rediscovery of our personal truth and a uh, like rapidly growing desire to attain it and to be living our lives as a reflection of that. So I find the Sabians like really, I just, they're like tickling my fancy today. I just, I love the Sabians as they're playing out today. And um, lastly, I want to talk about, okay, so we know that today we are in this, these three trines. We have the sun trining Pluto. We have the moon trining the south node, conjunct the black moon, and we have Venus trining Uranus, big release, big transformation in alignment with the truth of our heart, setting ourselves free from these karmic or generational patterns of trauma as a result of this subconscious programming that we are cracking, releasing, and beginning to reprogram in this energy as well. Moving to tomorrow, this reprogramming effort will still be underway. Like I said, we will have both the sun and the moon in basically exact aspect to Pluto in both luminaries aspecting Pluto. This is a like a soul and spirit. This is a very um, like deep and profound transformation, release, pure purge, purification of these darker aspects of our psyche that are going on in this energy. Moving into the 22nd, like I said, the Mercury sun will be conjuncting each other. This is likely to be bringing up some themes and some issues that were going on around July 16th, July 17th. The last time that we had our exact sun, Mercury Kazemi, really giving us a brief moment of perhaps some really significant insight into something. On the 23rd, we are going to have the sun move into Libra. Simultaneously, we're going to be having Mercury retrograde back into Virgo while Venus is in opposition to Neptune. The 23rd is a very 
interesting day in terms of shifting vibes that we have going on the 25th this is our new moon in libra that will be in an opposition to jupiter this is huge this whole new moon cycle you guys is going to be showing us more of these really profound truths and helping us to actually now take some action to move ourselves forward in a direction in alignment with the personal truths that we are gaining an awareness of or that we have been gaining awareness of over this period of time and then Oh my goodness, the 26th, you guys, this is a crazy day. There's so much going on on the 26th. The sun is going to be in an opposition to Jupiter. We're going to have Mercury and Venus in a conjunction simultaneously in an exact trine to Pluto. We're also going to be having a grand trine and air going on between the moon, Saturn, and Mars. The 26th is another really huge day. So we've got another big week of energy coming at us, hosting our new moon this week. Things are shifting. Things are changing. Planets changing signs. Lots of activations going on following on the heels of this six day window that we are bringing to a close today and all of these big aspects that have been playing out that have you know been bringing us through this period of time trying to help us gain a much greater sense of self-discovery and really begin this process of transforming transmuting alchemizing our lower states into our higher states releasing ourselves from some of the more negative emotional attachments of the past freeing ourselves to align with attract and begin to bring into our lives these new opportunities that really are going to fill us up and again like help us ignite our own personal spark activate our destiny and begin to experience life in a way that is much more fulfilling and much more per purposeful than we may have had experienced up until this point of time now let's talk you guys for a little bit about the tarot cards that came out for today interesting tarot message that we had going on as well i'm going to tell you first of all the card that we had coming out on the back of the deck is the tower and so this to me is saying you know just sort of like foundation energy that we have uh that we need to know about coming at us this week likely to be some big shocking unexpected changes that are going on but the changes that are happening again are to remove us remove the things from our life that are keeping us in a state of either self-sabotage based on negative or subconscious programming uh, or mindsets or attitudes or emotions that we're holding within us and also bring us to a point where we are just no longer willing to accept anything that is making us feel disempowered or like we just aren't as um potent really i guess you could say as as we are okay so in terms of the cards that came out the first card that we had coming out was the five of swords followed by the ace of pentacles followed by the knight of cups in reverse followed by the ace of wands now it's really interesting because the ace of pen we have two aces here so this is telling me like aces are about fresh starts and these two aces like look both of them there is like this hand of god like there is like this this hand coming out of the clouds that is offering in one case this golden opportunity right and in another case, this divine inspiration, okay? So this is telling me that despite whatever may seem like it's crumbling or hitting us out of nowhere or whatever, like, like big changes or just like shocks or surprises may be coming at us throughout the course of this week, they are actually bringing new opportunities for us. And we really need to be on the lookout for new opportunities this week. But what are these other two cards talking about? The Five of Swords and the Knight of Cups in reverse. In the context of this energy that we have playing out now, I feel like this is talking about dumping out our cup of negative feelings, of negative energy, and paying attention to the opportunities for divine alignment that may be presenting themselves to us like the um the knight of cups this is usually a message of love or you know an offer like some type of offer but with the knight of cups in reverse this is to me like i feel like in this context this is talking about like dumping something out like something that we are no longer willing to carry in our vessel moving forward and the way actually that the spread came out the um the five of swords was on this side and so it was like this or actually it was like this and so it was like this 
And so I feel like this is actually talking about like this Knight of Swords or Knight of Cups in reverse is actually looking towards the Five of Swords. And I feel like the Five of Swords, this is this energy of like self-sabotage or sabotage or um, just like conflict and betrayal and like people just like actively working against us. Like this is also like stealing power and stuff like that. And this is just these negative feelings, these negative thoughts as well, like self-sabotaging thoughts. And I feel like this is talking about like whatever tower moments are happening for us now, whatever is coming down right now, like whatever uh, is like breaking up or breaking down or sort of hitting us that's out of nowhere or like shaking our foundation and stuff right now. I feel like it's talking about like it's happening so that we will sort of dump out like our own like the, either the relationships or the thoughts or the situations or the circumstances in our lives that are stealing our power or that are just generally like keeping us full of negative feelings or negative ideas or negative thoughts or negative like self-talk and stuff like this. This is also the process. Like also, the, you know, the moon in Cancer trining the South Node in Scorpio, this water energy, this cup energy, this release from these negative self-sabotaging patterns. I feel like that's what this is talking about. I feel like the Five of Swords and the Knight of Cups in reverse together, I feel like this is talking about dumping that out, like the release from the negative self-sabotaging self self programs, patterns, self-talk, and there may be needing to be some type of tower moment in order to like make us release ourselves from that in order for us to really like turn that cup over and dump it out. But simultaneous to that, like literally wo interwoven in it, like every other card, we also have these divine blessings coming through, like this divine creative inspiration and like this these divine and valuable opportunities for abundance and success. So like in the midst of whatever is crumbling or whatever is falling down or whatever we're having to release or get rid of at this period of time, to let us to purge right all this purge energy with the Pluto as well we have to simultaneously be on the lookout for new opportunities or new inspiration that is hitting us because this is going to simultaneously be coming in it's like not everything is just being pulled out it's like yes things are being extracted things are being taken out but simultaneously they're also entering like in the same uh moment like it was literally every other card like yes we had the tower on the back of the deck but and we started with the five of swords but right after that we had the uh ace of pentacles and then we have the knight of cups but right after that we have the ace of wands so there it's happening simultaneously so we need to not turn a blind eye or we need to not find ourselves in such a place of like discombobulation over whatever maybe having this tower moment that we can't see the blessings that are also being brought as a result of that as well universe giving us opportunity to leave behind and no longer accept self-sabotaging mindsets and connections but also giving us an opportunity to really recreate something brand new these this ace energy through some type of divine inspiration and the recognition of the truth of the value our resources potential that we hold inside and what we can truly build and make flourish with that as we go through this experience as long as we can cut ourselves loose from that five of swords self-sabotage or you know just dealing with people accepting like the knight of cups that's like accepting offers from five of swords like people who are actually working against us or hurting us in some type of way like we are turning that over we are spilling that out and then we are taking grabbing a hold of the like offers that universe is presenting to us so that is what i have to say today you guys in terms of the tarot message let's grab one more card a synchronicity card now a bit of advice guidance god spirit universe what is just one message that will benefit us as we are going through this energy today this is so crazy. These synchronicity cards are always so on point. It says seek the truth. And what have I been saying, you guys, about this whole entire week? It is about seeking the truth. It is about secrets exposed. It is about gaining a higher understanding. It is literally seeking the truth. Jupiter opposition Mercury. New moon opposition Jupiter. Pluto trying the sun. Like we are seeking the truth. We are seeing into darkness. This is the perfect card that could have come out. God divideth the light from the darkness. You guys, I swear I opened this report by saying secrets revealed and we are transmuting darkness into light this week and today. Unbelievable. 
God divideth the light from the darkness. Genesis 1, 4. Are you sure you know what is true and what is false about the situation? Just because you do not see results yet doesn't mean that the answer is not on its way to you now. Remember, everything in the world must move over just a bit before your wish can come true. Know that God is working on it now. The power of God is working in and through you and you will triumph. Do not judge by appearances. You cannot see everything that's happening. And that is also true with all this Mercury retrograde energy right now as well. We are gaining a truth, but we cannot see the fine print in things. We cannot see the details. We cannot see the intricacies. We are gaining an overall expanded awareness that is helping us to go through this transformative process. But in divine timing, as we move towards the Libra cycle, as we move towards the first few weeks, things are going to start happening, you guys. So we are seeking the truth in this energy, and that is literally what the astrology is calling for. So that is what I have to say, you guys. Message from the stars, a message from the cards. I hope you liked it. I was hope I... <laughs> I hope I was able to provide something for you that can give you a little bit of whatever you are seeking as you are going throughout your day today. If you guys did like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. I'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers. We are not that far off. It really helps my channel grow when you do that. I really appreciate you guys. I have a Facebook page, a Facebook group, a website, and some other social media stuff. Those are in my description box below. And uh, come back with me tomorrow, you guys. We have both luminaries coming into alignment with Pluto tomorrow and again we are really getting to the bottom of some things <laughs> seeking the truth so I will be here you should be here too you don't want to miss it you guys and until tomorrow have a beautiful day everybody bye